All right. Or Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure Walkthrough. Finally, now we're gonna go to Hyrule Castle. Unbelievable. The main reason why I say that is just because later we'll actually have to revisit this place again a little later in the game. Yeah, out of all the places in the Legend of Zelda game, this is the only place that we end up revisiting later in the game. Just because everywhere else we go, we'll always go some we'll always end up going to a different place, making it making it making the lap making the map that we have a little more elaborate to see where we're going but apparently but uh, apparently though um, uh, Hyrule Castle is the only area that we get to revisit again in the whole game I don't know why you'll see uh, um, uh, you'll see like if you keep watching the water you'll see that the map gets more elaborate I really hope you do watch the walkthrough too. You may learn something after after this, especially if you're planning to do a walkthrough. Especially if you're planning to go, I'm a do. I'm a, especially if you're planning to play the game someday. You may learn something from my walkthrough. I know though we're just advancing over here now. You just go up this ladder. There's a chest over here. Now you just go up this other ladder, destroy these pods, and as you see, there's a weird switch here that you have to hit. And, oh, you gotta love this. No formations. This part system, uh... Yeah, there are some parts, though, when you advance on the Game Boy screen where it's just 2D sides. There'll be some parts where it's just a 2D side scroller and you can't use your formations. So it has a little bit of both in this game. The overworld, the overworld, the overworld stuff where you're just, the stuff I'm aware the camera is just about looking down on you, and you can use your formations, and then it has some of the, and then it has some of the side scrolling stuff where, you're, where it's just about where you're just going right from left to right and, and from point A to point B. There we go. Got that guy served, and now we open. And then we get another heart container. Nice. You're definitely gonna need them every. You're definitely gonna need them every level because every time you start off a new level, you start off with four hearts. <coughs> kind of lame, I know. Now we get the classic I'm a Hyrule Castle theme, just like in the other. Just like in Zelda, Link to the Past. Yeah, that's what happened to you activate that switch first. I knew, I knew I'm a, I knew that one I'm going to take out the guards, but... Nah, it's, it's this switch over here you have to press. You pull it, and then after the, then you see the light, the torches light up, and then we can go inside the castle. Now it's just now, now it's just about coming up on the Game Boy screen now. If you're playing this on the Game Boy, push this, get a, get a big fort, big green forest gem. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, you just have to make this switch. Just go inside here, and then after that, uh, there's actually some weapons you can earn. Here's what you do: activate the switch really quick. Be quick; it won't last long. At least I don't think so. Blue bracelet reduces health now by half, of course. And we got ourselves the fire rod. If you see the fire rod, get it while you can, because most of the levels well, you won't be in a, you won't be getting this until very later in the. Because it's really good. It's a really good item, and we barely see it throughout throughout most of the levels here in the game. Yeah, first up, you're gonna need to get this bow, and then you shoot it right outside the. Shoot it out the door, there'll be a switch outside. As you see, here's the door that we're in, and then there's a switch right there. Now, watch what happens when I shoot it. Whoops. You see, now I just hit the switch outside the room, and now we can go outside. Oh crap. Whoops. <laughs> if I didn't burn the grass, if I didn't cut the grass though, I'm gonna it would have continued all the way over here. Like it would have went down here and made a big fire trail all the way to end off here. And you know, though besides that, let's just go inside the let's go inside. Now you're gonna see though that we're gonna need this and once we're back inside the castle. Peace, I don't know. I sense this is going to be a very long, enduring castle to get through just to save the first maiden. There's even a fairy that we have to save. Yeah, then there's this guy right here with the wrecking ball. You just have to time it so then after you can so then after you don't get hit from the ball. And then if that's not enough There has to be soldiers. Crap, I got rid of my fire rod. I would just burn these guys into a crisp. I'm still kicking ass with the bow, it's okay. There we go, we got all the four shims and we're almost up to 2,000! Yay! You need 2,000 four shims to power up the sword. I'll show ya. Five till this. Anyway, moving on. Let's just get back to the game. Yeah, it's a trap door, but it's pretty easy to walk right past. All you have to do is just walk along the top or the bottom section. 
Now there's these four switches here, but if you hit them, they all they all quit after you hit them. Not that hard though. Getting across formation, charge up the sword. Boom! Got them all activated at the same time. Now we can't go inside this place because I'll show you why. It's completely dark in here. No problem though. You actually get a separate link. Or I guess you can move them. Damn, I never did try doing that before. Instead, I just moved it one of the four links onto it. But even as well though, I'll show you why. You can still do all this stuff together if you, even if you're just in a, even if you're just being a separate link. I'll show ya. Like I said, I usually am a, I don't move the statue on the switch, instead I just go in as one of the separate links. Like as you see, there's one switch which just brings out a bunch of guards. Oh yeah, and then we got enough to power up the sword. I mean, to don't mind me. Then you have to hit this other switch. We can go into the next room. And then we'll meet this little guy here. Who? Who is it? Who's there? You, you're not with those I'm a fiend to if I'm a taking over the castle, are you? Please, would you help me? I heard the maintenance cries and came running to find the castle on nest of fiends. They captured me and split me into two. That's why I look so horrible right now. Yeah, you'll be surprised who it is once we finally get all the four, once we get the two halves back together again. And then there's a force field that we have to... Can't get Darkling because he's up there and we're down here. Oh my god, I thought the creature was a, was an enemy. Get a long formation and then add the and then try pulling the switch here. And see now another passageway opens up and then we can go inside. Get the bombs because you're gonna need them for this next section. Probably after I get out of here, I'll get the fire rod too. Still keep them. You're going to need them for this next section as well. Yeah, I hit I hit it with the sword. Oh, happy day. Thank you. Now at least we can merge as one and I can return to my true form. Please take me to the take me to the berry that blocked your way. I'll do my best to aid you on your journey. I'm getting a fire rod too because I want it. I want my fire rod. Fire rod, fire rod. <laughs> yeah, here we go. It's the great fairy! Yay! I didn't think I would ever be allowed to reclaim my true form as a great fairy again. Thank you so much, brave ones. Now the castle guards start coming on to us, but don't worry, the fairy will take care of it. Uh oh, it looks like the soldiers have noticed this. I'll take care of them. Yeah, thank god, that saves us a fight. It even kills the other ones that are just standing right around there on the sides. Nice! Now we can get inside the castle! All right. Yeah, there's stores on the sides as well that can, on where you can get some random stuff. Let's just say, always a up. This is what I'm gonna say. Just stretch out your, just stretch out all the possibilities you can think of. 
like force gems, 